my reception, it's topic time. Now for our topic lesson today, we are going to be reading a story called The Mixed Up Chameleon. And it's about a chameleon. A chameleon is a kind of lizard. Can you see he's got a really long tongue? But he meets some different animals along the way and he gets a bit mixed up. As we see different animals in the story, I want you to call out the names of the animals when you see them. Okay. The Mixed Up Chameleon by Eric Carle. And the author, so the writer of this book, this is the same person, the same writer as the person who wrote The Very Hungry Caterpillar. I like that book. I think you're going to like this story too. On a, on a shiny green leaf sat a small green chameleon. It moved onto a brown tree and turned brownish. Look, can you see? Look at that. So there's the chameleon, then he's going on the tree, and he's gone brown. Then it went onto a red flower and turned reddish. When the chameleon moved slowly onto the yellow sand, guess what? It turned yellowish. You could hardly see it, look, can you see? It's a bit hard to see, isn't it? When the chameleon was warm and had something to eat, it turned sparkly green. But when it was cold and hungry, it turned grey and dull. When the chameleon was hungry, it sat still and waited. Only its eyes moved up, down, sideways, until it spotted a fly. You could see a fly. Then the chameleon's long and sticky tongue shot out and caught the fly. That was its life. It, was ve it, it wasn't very exciting, but one day... Look at all those animals in the zoo. We've got... What animals can you see? Giraffe, elephant, fox, a deer, a flamingo, polar bear, a turtle, and a seal. So, the chameleon saw a zoo. He had never seen so many beautiful animals. Hmm. The chameleon thought, how small I am and how slow. How weak. I wish I could be big and white like a polar bear. And the chameleon's wish, wish came true. But was he happy? No. So look, he was green and look, he's changed colour. Now he's like a whitey grey polar bear, but he's still not happy. Oh, I wish I could be handsome like a flamingo. <laughs> now look what's happened. So he's the flamingo and now he's got the legs and the wings of a flamingo. <laughs> he looks very silly. I wish I could be smart like a fox. What can you see in the picture that's from a fox's body? Have a look. Can you see? It's got a big bushy fox's tail. So have be thinking, have a think. What part of an animal would you like to have? If you could be a mixed up animal and not just like a person, a boy or a girl, what would you like to have? Would you like a fox's tail? Would you like flamingo wings? Let's keep reading on. It might give you some ideas what you would like. I wish I could swim like a fish. You see, now he's looking more like a fish. He's got fins to help him swim through the water. I wish I could run like a deer. So now he's got antlers like a deer as well. So he's got a bit of a deer's body, bit of a fish's body, bit of a fl flamingo's body, bit of a polar bear's body, and a bit of a fox. He's a very funny looking chameleon. Now, he is a very, very mixed up chameleon. I wish I could see things from far away. Like, what's an with a very, very long neck? From far away, like a giraffe. I wish I could hide in a shell like a turtle. 
I wish I could be strong like an elephant. Look at that. I've got a very long elephant trunk now and big ears. Would you like to have an elephant trunk and big elephant ears? Which bit of an animal would you be like? Tell your grown-up. If you were a mixed-up animal, which animal parts would you want? Would you want any of these? Maybe you'd like something different. I wish I could be funny like a seal. <laughs> Part of the seal's body has got like his flippers at the front and the back. <clears throat> what a silly looking chameleon. I wish I could be like people. Just then a fly flew by. Chameleon was very hungry. But the chameleon was very mixed up. It was a little of this and a little of that. And it couldn't catch a fly. There it is, tiny little fly there. I just wish I could be myself. Then like magic, the chameleon's wish came true and he caught the fly. And now back to normal, he's just a chameleon again. The end. I like that book, that's a funny story. So today we are going to be thinking about what kind of mixed up animal we would like to be. And I want you to have a go at drawing a picture of yourself with a part of an animal that you would like. Maybe you would like, um, oh, I'm trying to think. Maybe you would like a big bushy tail like a fox. Maybe you would like a long neck, like a giraffe, so you could see high up above. You could see above the trees. Maybe you would like to have lots of arms or lots of tentacles, like an octopus. You could pick lots of things up. You'd be able to play with lots of toys, wouldn't you, at the same time? I was thinking, I wish, I wish I had the wings of a butterfly. I'd like to be able to fly like a pretty butterfly and flitter flutter around. So I've drawn a picture of me and the animal part that I would like. And then can you have a go with the help from your grown up of writing the sentence? So I wish I had the something of a something. So think of the body part that you would like from an animal or the feature, so it could be things like, I would like to have the stripes of a tiger. I would like to have the spots of a cheetah. So it could be a feature, something on there, if it's a pattern on their fur, I would like to have the feathers of a peacock, because they've got really beautiful feathers. Or you would like to have the body part of that animal. Like, I would like to have the sharp claws of a tiger to catch things. Have a think, what would you like? And draw a picture and ask your grown up to upload it and put it on tapestry for me to have a look at. So that's your job for today. And I have got a mega challenge that I wonder if you could have a go at. Now, so you can draw your picture of you with an animal part. And then, if you're feeling like doing something really tricky, can you have a go making your own mixed up animal picture? Have a look at mine. Do you like it? Can you tell what animal parts I've used? I've got an elephant head with a long trunk and big ears. I've got the stripy body of a tiger, the long legs of a giraffe and the big tail of a whale. So I used different colour paper and I drew the different animal parts and then I cut them out and stuck them together. I'd love to see what kind of funny, silly, mixed up animal you could make. I think you'd have fantastic ideas and I'm really looking forward to seeing them. Bye.